This ain't a synopsis. It's a light novel. Harry Kane, come on. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your life, guys? That girl just fucking woof. Who the fuck just said Hoggers, my grandfather Jack to this? Oh, I'm gonna come. Hello, my weebs and gamers. How are you doing today? Guys, we are doing an anime stream today. Do you remember when I did that? We are going to be going through the entirety of the 2022 fall anime chart. We're going to be watching every trailer and we're going to be seeing what's going to be worth watching. There are a bunch of season twos, a bunch of high profile shows coming out. I try to remove the bias as much as possible. So we're not doing it by popularity. We're not doing it by most hyped. We are doing it in alphabetical order. I either rank every anime as an insta watch, three episodes, one episode, or a skip. So we are starting with four nin wa sore zore uso o suku. The school comedy story follows four friends at a girl's school, but they are a space pilot, a ninja without a clan, a girl with supernatural powers, and a boy in girl's clothes. Huh, that sounds like a very, very interesting premise. All right. Let's get to it. Okay, why is there a UFO right in the... What is this, like, Steins Gate or some shit? That voice, you know when you hear a voice actor or actress and you're like, wow, you speak a fluent hentai. Not really a fan of this limited animation. Has there been any movement in this one minute trailer so far? Do I need to pull out a f***ing ninja? Yo, I'm not seeing enough movement, guys. Oh! Actual animation, guys! Did you see that? We got some fucking movement up in here! Peak Sakuga, man. Yo, Mob Psycho 100, I sleep. This is some real animation. I'm not feeling confident about the animation of this trailer, but it is a comedy anime. All that matters is do the jokes deliver. A lot of people clowned on Way of the House Husband, but I actually like that adaptation. It was funny enough that the visual style actually worked. This one, though, I'm not too sure. I am going to give this one episode. Next one, Akiba Maid Sensor. The end of the century Akiba is filled with a wide variety of maids. The new maid who had joined the store with me was quite unpredictable and the red bat swings into action. We are wanting for you to come home, boo. What? <laughs> I fucking lost brain cells reading that synopsis, man. What the hell was that synopsis? Even though that synopsis kind of made me want to go on an edge and commit Jump King, I will have hopes because it's an anime original and by PA Works. Let's see what the trailer is like. Yo, it's Akihabara! I've been there, guys! I've been there! Aesthetics don't actually look bad. Of course, it's PA works. It's never gonna look bad aesthetically. Oh, God. I cringed. I'm sorry. That just brought back a wave of memories of going to a real maid cafe, Grand. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. What was that? Yeah, we went full JAV for a second. What was that? That guy was way too happy to get some liquid spilt on him, man. Look at this. Guy. <laughs> My bro, he got f***ing bukkake by me. Look at that. God, I wish that was me. Oh God, this could be us, but you playing. That was interesting, actually. That was interesting. Again, I like the character designs. I like the aesthetics, but I just love the PA Works aesthetics and animation in general. So I'm definitely going to give this one episode and I'm feeling a bit more hopeful about this than the previous one. If it does something more interesting than just be a maid cafe slice of life, I'm probably going to give it a chance. I want to know what's going on. I feel like there is more to this than the trailer is letting on. Next, anime. Akuyaku Reijo Nano de Last Boss wo Kate Mimashita. When Eileen, the Duke's daughter, regains her memory of her past life, searching for any way out of her hopeless situation, the method she chooses is to capture the heart of the last boss, the demon lord Claude. So this seems like it's going to be another villainess anime. Is it an isekai? English name is, I'm a villainess, so I'm taming the final boss. I don't know why they used the word taming. That's like some 50 shades of gray shit. Let's have a look. She's trying to tame that. She's taming that. This is definitely some 50 shades of gray shit, man. Look at him. Sigma male. Sigma male right there. It's Cinderay boy. No, he blushed. I called you a Sigma. No, I trusted you. I love a girl that can portray a bigger smug energy. Look at that. Not Sid. We're not doing this again. We do this every time, guys. I just like my smug, okay? I like smug anime girls. Is the music for a villainous anime allowed to go that hard? That didn't look bad at all. I thought I'd got bored of the villainous kind of formula. I know it's ironic me saying this as the isekai guy. Really, really like the soundtrack, but these characters actually look interesting. We got like a Giga Chad male that goes to a Giga Beta male in like two frames. <laughs> I kind of like the main character's energy, the villainous's energy. All right, I'll give it one episode. All right, guys. 
Are you ready for Bleach? I won't spend too much time on this because I've already reacted to both of these trailers, but I got time. We got time. We're going to watch it again. Oh, this fucking music bang so hard, man. Oh, every time, man. Every time. This is such a good fucking remix. Regardless of how the Bleach anime turns out, I want them to release that song because they made that remix slap so goddamn hard. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this, not because I'm a massive Bleach fan, but because Bleach was one of the most massive anime at a time when I just got into anime. So I'm heavily excited just to see the nostalgia come back. I'm going to be watching it. It's a watch for me. Next one, Blue Lock. After a disastrous defeat at the 2018 World Cup, Japan's team struggles to regroup. They've gathered 300 of Japan's best and brightest young players. Who will emerge to lead the team and will they be able to outmuscle and out ego everyone who stands in their way. We have already have a very, very good sports anime airing right now. And it's also another football anime as well. I know that a lot of people have been looking forward to Blue Lock. I've heard manga readers say that this is one of the best football manga of all time. So I am very, very interested and very, very excited to check it out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Isn't this every sport? Yo, what did Sydney say? All sports are the same. When you say it like that, she has a point. Yo, what? Why are they playing against people in gym suits? What is the context of this? I need to know. You know what? This looks like everything I wanted from a football anime. Because it's just football put through the anime filter times 10. Are there going to be like special moves and shit here? That's what I want. Ah! That fucking scream. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even think players in the World Cup lamented that hard, man. Are you kidding me? I'm going to do that next time England lose. I'm going to be like, no! Harry Kane, come on! Do it for England, Harry! All right, my guys. That's an easy must watch for me. I'm already having fun watching the trailers. This looks so overly serious and overly dramatic. Like it's a life or death situation. It somehow made football super edgy, but I know I'm going to have a good time with this. And one thing I like is that they mentioned the World Cup. So it's not like, oh guys, we got to meet at nationals, guys. I love it when sports anime aim for like real sporting events. And I'm looking forward to edging the fuck out on a football match. Oh shit, not that kind of edging, guys. Shut up, guys, shut up. I'm going to move on. Next up, My Hero Academia season six. Let's watch some My Hero Academia. Yo, we got the whole gang together, man. Look at that. They're bringing out everyone this arc. Woo! That wasn't some bad animation man. Yo, they're wrecking shit up, man. A lot of people, I think, have fallen out of love with My Hero Academia. I am one of those people. It hasn't really hooked me since season three. Having said that, this is the season that manga readers have told me is going to bang. I don't know what's going to happen this season, but it looks like a lot's going on. It looks like they're pulling out all of the stops for this season. This is the last chance I'm going to give you. If this season isn't good, I've lost so. I'm going to catch up to season five just so I can watch this season. I'm putting all of my eggs into this one basket and we'll see if it ends up living up to the hype that Margaritas says that it's going to be. Moving on. Sidanchi. Housing Complex C centers around Kimi, who lives in a small, low-cost housing complex located in the seaside town of Kurosaki, and horrific incidents begin to occur. Is an ancient evil stalking the residents of Housing Complex C? Okay, this is, uh, interesting. It's a horror anime. Adult Swim is doing this? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know, because... Horror anime are really, really hard to do. I've not seen a good horror anime out for a very, very long time, if ever. Horror manga is where it's at. I fucking love horror manga. Didn't Adult Swim promise us an Uzumaki anime? Did they put all of their resources into making this? Is this what happened to the Uzumaki anime? But this one seems interesting enough. I'm going to give this one episode. All right. I've never heard of this anime. Have you guys heard of this anime? Chainsaw Man? What's that? We've watched the trailer before. I will gladly watch it again with you guys. It looks beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you sure can skate, please. My poor virgin is. Oh, do you know what I found out the other day? Tatsuki Fujimoto is 28. He's younger than me. How is someone that talented 28? I'm four years older than him. This man is out here making a best-selling manga. He's one of the most talented people in the manga industry. And he's fucking younger than me. The world ain't fucking fair. I fucking love that shot, man. The shot of just the dog disintegrating this whatever monster. Oh, that's so fucking satisfying. That looks so good, guys. If you want to see my full opinions leading up to Chainsaw Man, just watch my Chainsaw Man video. That is on my second channel. You can just watch that. This is an easy, easy must-watch for me. It's contender 
for anime of the year. It might be contender for more than that because I'm a huge Tatsuki Fujimoto fan. I, I'm going to say that right now. I don't want to hype it up too much, but here I am hyping it up too much. <laughs> but it's hard not to. Tell me something that I shouldn't be hype about with this show. I'm looking. Is, is there something? Is there an L in sight? I'm trying to look for an L. And that's Chainsaw Man, guys. Moving on. Cool Doji Danchi. Enter a bunch of cool guys who look like they got an unapproachable swag. Unapproachable swag. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. They're just a bunch of dorks who've got the act down pat. So sit back, grab some cop- <laughs> Grab some popcorn and enjoy watching a bunch of goofy guys try to look cool all day, every day. It's just trash taste, guys. This is just trash taste. No, it's not, it's not trash taste, guys. Come on. I'm not pretending, guys. What can I say? It's the unapproachable swag. I know, guys. I try to turn it off. It's impossible. How do you turn off something that's just natural to you guys. Okay, let's have a look at the trailer. This, this is unapproachable swag. Ice coffee hot dog. <laughs> if you didn't understand, he asked for hot iced coffee there. Okay, that looks like a comfy enough show. We have gone past the era of cute girls do cute things. Now, apparently we are going through the era of cute boys doing cute things. This looks like gender bent k -on, if I'm being honest. Didn't it look too funny. Didn't even look like BL bait. One episode. Moving on. Do it yourself. Q Shia LaBeouf. Building furniture and friendships have a lot in common. Building friendships, yo, cringe. Who does that? This is a story of girls in a DIY club building both as they carve out their futures. Furniture, friendships, and the future. They're building it all with their own hands. Where can I buy my friendships from Ikea, man? Where's the instructions for that? Let's have a look. Okay, I like the aesthetic. The background's looking good. You guys ever see an aesthetic and you're like, oh, I like that. This gives me a good feeling and I don't know why. It doesn't have like the usual, hey, we're ripping off to animation because we're making cute girls do cute things. This one is very nice. Is it gonna happen? Am I gonna like a cute girls doing cute things show? I'm feeling all wholesome and shit now. I really love the character designs. Cutesy in a different kind of way. Oh, this looks so good. God damn, man. I really enjoyed that. And normally I don't like slice of life, but every so often I find one that just appeals to me. I really loved Eurocamp. I loved Girls Last Tour. And I think I'm gonna like this one as well. Call it me hitting my 30s and getting into like my dad energy mode, but just seeing people do woodwork and DIY, I'm like, yeah, I can get into that. Yeah, that was really good. I'm gonna give that one three episodes. I am surprised that I am this hyped for a cute girls do cute things anime. Next show, AQ Shonen Eternal Boys, the mature idol project. Ah, it's, it's, it's an idol, all right. Let's bring the hype back down, guys. It's an idol anime. Six middle-aged men now face the many hurdles of age and physical abilities whilst pursuing their goals to become idols. Oh, that's interesting. Middle-aged men try to become idols, all right. Hey, that's you guys mod. Ban that person, please. I've got one trailer for this. Oh, thank God. 37, guys. That ain't me. I still got time. Wait, how, how old are they? 35, 37. This isn't copium, guys. Zero copium in sight. Guys, they said middle age. I ain't that. Look at these guys. My God. Can I look this good when I'm 45? This man is 45? Are you kidding me? Woo. I thought that that was going to be an insta skip for me, but I'm going to give that an episode. I like the concept. I'm appreciative of the message that they're trying to get across. Because guys, just because you're in your 30s doesn't mean you can't do some amazing shit. It's nothing to do with relatability. Can't be the only one, come on guys. They're not like me, okay? They're not like me for real. Moving on, Futoku no Guild. Kikuru Mudan is a monster hunter. Monster hunter, I love monster hunter. But he decided to quit it because of fear of wasting his own youth. Oh, sorry, Madan. I totally read that as Mudan. <laughs> <laughs> Mudan now the main character to an ecchi anime. All right, let's give this trailer a watch. Is this an isekai less isekai? Oh. Bruh, what the f was that last shot? I was about to say, for an ecchi anime, this looks very safe for work. And then they f***ing hit you with that shot. Oh, okay, I missed that shot. Honestly, that went from zero to a hundred. It went from like pretty tame, some uh seriously sus shots. I've already forgotten what the show is about. It's from the same studio that did High School DxD. I'm easily gonna give this an episode at least. Any other cultured men in chat? <laughs> on a scale of one to redo of healer. I'm wondering where this fits on the scale. Next one, 
夫婦以上恋人未満 Are you guys seeing this? It's studio mother. I think we found Connor's favorite studio, guys. Look at this. This ain't a synopsis. It's a light novel. Are you fucking kidding me? Live with a partner of the opposite sex. Jiro steals Akari's first kiss without realizing what he done. Woo! What is this? NTR simulator? Cucking school? All right, let's have a look at the trailer. Aesthetic and animation actually looks pretty good. I love the color palette. The art looks really, really unique. It's hard to judge based on just that trailer. I have a feeling this one might get a little bit spicy. My spice sense is tingling, man. You know me, guys. I'm a f***ing sucker for that. I am Southeast Asian in food and Southeast Asian in anime taste. I have a feeling that School of Cuck, this is going to be my dark horse. That's, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> I can't remember the actual name of the show. We're going with School of Cuck. This one is going to be three episodes for me. And we have Idolish 7 Third Beats. Let's just watch this trailer. So let's just get this out the way. But you know what, guys? You know what? You're going to get the true Gaunt watching anime experience. We're not going to skip. I do not skip. You see this? Downloading the anime into our brain. Woo! How's that, guys? Watching anime has now peaked. Are you fluent in times two Japanese? Um, yeah, that's an easy skip for me. And you can't say that I didn't give it a chance. Ah, this one. Okay. Did it take this long to get our first isekai? This is Eminence of the Shadow. Sid's dream wasn't to become a protagonist or a final boss. He'd rather lie low as a minor character until it's prime time to reveal he's a mastermind, or at least pretend to be one. And now that he's been reborn into another world, Sid jokingly recruits members to his organization and makes up a whole backstory these imaginary adversaries turn out to be the real deal and everyone knows the truth but him i have heard good things about this manga you heard it from me first this is an isekai to look out for i ain't just saying that because i'm the isekai man let's have a look at the trailer yo edgelord let's go it looks like the best kind of edgelord holy shit how many girls are you gonna add i was like yeah that's a lot of girls and then it just keeps going man's collecting girls like it's a fucking gacha game look at this man he has as many girls in this harem as i do in fucking arc nights man what the hell that's another one that's a new one my man's out here breaking records man another, another one, one. Another, another one. one. Another, another one. one. When is this man gonna stop? I've literally lost count of how many there is. Best kind of Genshin player. My man got isekai and he was like, what team comp do I want? Get all the males out of here. I don't want them. Wifey's only. There's been people who have said that this is like Konosuba vibes or Konosuba level of comedy isekai. Now that's a very, very high bar. I have high hopes for this one. I want to go into this one completely blind. The trailers might be a bit of a bait and switch. So I'm going to give this one three episodes but i can easily see myself watching this ah oh, okay finally we have more gundam guys alan if you're editing this this one's for you alan kido senshi gundam suisei no majo a lone girl from the remote planet mercury transfers to the astisacia school of technology run by the benerit group which dominates the mobile suit industry her name is saleta mercury these names man these names with a scarlet lights burning in her pure heart this girl walks step by step through a new world. Now, if you don't know what Gundam is, it has different timelines. And the main timeline is the Universal Century timeline. There is a timeline that starts all the way to the beginning of the original Mobile Suit Gundam that goes all the way up until now. And it's not necessary for you to watch everything, but if you haven't, you might miss some context here and there or some big plot events. I haven't really watched any of the Universal Century timeline Gundams because there's just a lot. I'm that guy who wants to get every little bit of context because even though Alan keeps telling me to watch Gundam Hathaway, the reason I haven't watched it is because it's Universal Century. And and I want to get the full enjoyment out of it. This one is a new newbie friendly Gundam. So you can go into this without knowing any prior knowledge of Gundam. I think the last one was Iron Blooded Orphans. And that was seven years ago. Because normally there's one Gundam that every new generation of anime fans watch that gets them into Mecha and Gundam. And I'm hoping this one's going to be it. Let's have a look at the trailer. Oh, oh my God. 2D Max. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your life, guys? Oh, I'm going to come. Oh, it's been so long. It's all oh, beautiful. Bro, this looks holy shit. That looks fucking incredible. Holy fuck, I've missed 2D Max. This looks like 
It was the mecha show we've been waiting for. This looks like it's the Gundam we've been waiting for. If this one doesn't deliver, I've <laughs> lost hope for new fans getting into Gundam because this has to be it. It feels like new anime fans haven't had that new hot mecha show to really introduce them to the mecha genre. This is an easy, easy must watch. You've got 2D mechs. It's a newbie friendly Gundam. Anyone can watch it. I literally cannot remember the last time I was this hyped for not just a new Gundam, but just a new mecha show. Even if you're not into mecha, even if you don't like mecha, Give this one a chance, guys. And I'm looking forward to seeing more 2D mechs. I'm so f***ing hype. Woo! All right, guys. The season of bangers continues. Because we got Mob Psycho 100 Season 3. Don't even need a synopsis. Let's just watch the trailers for this. Woo! Look at that. That looks f***ing incredible. They've already posted the OP. What the f***? Not sure I'm allowed to watch this. Kind of risky. Just to see the animation. I'm going to watch it on mute. It's f***ing weird to watch an OP without music. Oh, what a banger. Oh, God. Yo, this song slaps. I'm going to stop. Watching this OP without the music is awful, man. It makes me feel like I'm pissing on the Mona Lisa. Back to Mob Psycho then. One thing I was originally worried about, after season two of Mob Psycho 100, I thought that was it. We've had nice character arcs. All the plot threads that have been set up were tied up. I thought we don't need a season three. With that said, though, I'm f***ing hype. It's Mob Psycho 100. One of the things people have been hyping about Mob Psycho 100 Season 3 that there have been like 20,000 hand-drawn frames that people have said is going to be in one single episode of Mob Psycho 100 Season 3. And I was like, guys, we have literally become the gaming community. We are now jacking each other off at frame numbers. The fact that you have that many hand-drawn frames, I guess that shows just how much Sakuga is going to be in a single episode of Mob Psycho 100 Season 3. That's like 2,000 queen bee anti episodes i mean probably if you have not caught up to any of the previous seasons of mob psycho what do you do you're missing out on one of the best modern anime to air mob psycho has surpassed one punch man i way prefer mob psycho the character writing is amazing the animation is amazing the fights are amazing mob psycho 100 season 2 has one of my favorite anime fights of all time that teleporting fight is one of the coolest fights in all of anime in my opinion even though studio bones is like one of the GOAT Studios, I think their best work is with Mob Psycho 100. I'm f***ing hyped and this is an easy must watch. God tier. All right, moving on. Mushikaraburi Hime from Madhouse? Madhouse are still making anime? Yo, how long has it been since we've seen a Madhouse anime? Jesus. When book-loving Lady Eliana spots Prince Christopher consorting with another noble lady. Ooh, ooh guys. We got some royal tea being spilt right here. Ooh, look at that. The annulment of their engagement is both inevitable and fast approaching. What she doesn't realize is that this is merely a surface ripple. One of many where the truths run deep in a conspiracy surpassing her imagination. I don't know if this synopsis is prettying it up a bit or if it's going to be that spicy. But let's have a look at the trailer. Damn, this is a good old-fashioned shoujo anime, man. How long has it been since we had like a really good old-fashioned shoujo anime? Every big shoujo anime I've seen recently has been remakes or sequels to very, very old shows. I guess that's why Studio Madhouse are coming back, right? <laughs> We've had such an influx of new shonen anime. There's been too much testosterone recently, okay? Let's get a bit of shoujo out in there. Yeah, I'll give that one an episode. All right, moving on. The second season Season of Muv Love Alternative? It's been a long time since I've heard Muv Love. This aired last year? Yo, this completely fell under my radar. <laughs> oh god. After watching that Gundam trailer, this CG just seems like a war crime to my eyes, man. How could you watch this after watching that Gundam trailer, man? Look at this. Oh, it ain't even that bad a CG, but after the Gundam trailer, I can't go back, man. That's a skip from me. Moving on to what is this? Mm. I'm a Ichikai, hell yeah! Let's go, baby! I've somehow gotten stronger when I improve my farm-related skills. Hey, yo! Is that a Stardew Valley Isekai, see? Al Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most non isekai protagonist name I've ever heard. Al Wayne? Al Wayne loves farming. And we don't mean the video game sim. Oh, lost me already. Real farming? Not Stardew Valley? Yo, what? Cringe. He somehow winds up maxing out his overall character stats. Alas, all he wants is an idyllic farmer life. With demons and monsters invading the realm, Al may have to take up the mantle of hero just to keep his dreams from withering away. Honestly, I'm a bit sad. This seems like a typical isekai. I was hoping... It it would focus more on the farming aspects. That'll be fun, right? I wouldn't mind a Stardew Valley Isekai. I thought this would be farming in another world. Let's watch the proper show. Yo! Tell me you're an Isekai without telling me you're an Isekai. I don't actually think this is an Isekai. This is just a fancy, right? God damn it. Yo, Emoto! Is that an Emoto I see? I was gonna pass and then I heard the Anisha. <laughs> I'm kidding. FBI, it was a joke. Please don't take this seriously. Guys, 
I think it's gonna happen. I think I found an isekai that I'm going to skip. Not even my love for isekai could carry me through that trailer. I was looking. Just any little thing. There was nothing to be found. It was not even isekai. It's fantasy. But as the fantasy isekai man, that looks really bad. This pains me so much. I'm gonna skip this one. Pop Team Epic Season 2. I did not know that they were making a Pop Team Epic Season 2. Let's have a look at this trailer. Whoa. Yo, this ain't anime. What is this? 3D humans? My immersion? I'm a VTuber fan. Why would I want to see this? Disgusting humans. Get out of here. That was not the trailer I was expecting for Pop Team Epic. Am I going to be watching this? My issue with Pop Team Epic is that when I realized that people were just posting a compilation of the best skits on YouTube, I was like, why do I need to watch the show anymore? There are some really, really funny skits in it, but not every skit is a banger. It's literally a meme compilation. And that to me is the Pop Team Epic experience. I end up watching the compilations and I end up enjoying them more than actually going through and watching the entire episodes of Pop Team Epic 2. I'll see what skits have the most views and then I'll watch that. Moving on to Renai Flops. The story centers on Asahi Kashiwagi, a student who one morning runs into a series of unusual accidents culminating with an unfortunate encounter with a girl. Coincidentally, all the girls he meets are new students or teachers at his school. After school, he finds a love letter in his shoe locker telling him to come to the cherry blossom tree behind the school. Asahi heads to the cherry blossom tree to see what awaits him. Guys, it's by Studio Passion. The guys that gave you the Isekai Harem anime? Interspecies reviewers? Let's have a look see at this, shall we? Did that girl just f***ing woof? What the f*** is that? <laughs> what? What was that? Bro, that was not something I expected. What the hell? All right, boys, who's best girl? Take a pick now. Anyone who says the woof girl can get out of here. Bro, my f***ing mind. I look at the f***ing handkerchief and I'm just like, those are panties. And my brain has just been broken by watching too many ecchi anime. Oh, it was panties. It was. We were right. We are trained veterans. We can find anime panties where anime panties don't exist, man. What is this show? You know how I can sense best girl? It also applies to the opposite. And my worst girl senses are already tingling. It's a dude? Is it actually? <laughs> you know what? That just looks like dumb fun. The more shows I watch from Studio Passion, they're not going to be making any anime of the seasons or anything like that. But they're my studio. I kind of vibe with them. You know what I mean? I really have a bad time watching their shows. They're just a studio full of cultured dudes, I think. I'm going to give this one three episodes. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. We'll see where it goes. Next one. Legend of Mana, the Teardrop Crystal. This one doesn't even have a synopsis, but it's based on a video game. Who the f*** did the music for? For this. The music went f***ing hard. Um, of course. <laughs> My boy. Of course, that's why the music went hard. Yo, Kevin, what the f***? You didn't tell me you were working on this. Because in my mind, I was thinking, this sounds very Kevin. What can I say? Even though he's my mate, I genuinely think he does good shit. Having said that, as much as I love Kevin, I don't know if it's going to be worth watching this anime or just going out and playing the game. I'll give this one one episode. I'll give it an episode for my boy. Just for you. Moving on. This is Shinmai Renkin. For a lonely orphan, there's almost only one career path to success. That is to get a national qualification as an alchemist. I love Full Metal Alchemist. It's my favorite anime. Sarasa sets off on a journey, dreaming of a slightly elegant life as an alchemist. She has to manage a store and somehow make a living. So this seems like a fantasy kind of slice of life. Let's have a look at the trailer. <laughs> Just like my one and true hero, Edward Elric. This is basically a f***ing Atlier anime, man. What? Why does the animation look so good? Where did that come from? That's what you want to do? You want to own a f***ing store? My like, girl, come on, aim higher. There's so much better things you could be aiming for than running a store. Come on, girl, please. Watching that trailer just made me want to play Atlia. <laughs> it was successful in a sense where I actually like the concept, but I'd rather play it than watch someone else do it. You know what I mean? The animation for that surprisingly looks pretty good. I'm going to give this one one episode to see if it lives up to my favorite alchemist anime of all time. She may be an alchemist, but is she the full metal alchemist? I don't know. All right. Going on to the next one. Shinobi no Itoki. Itoki Sakuraba was an ordinary student. He finds out that he is the 19th heir of the famous Iga Ninjas. Now a student at a high school specializing in Shinobi techniques, Itoki clashes with Koga in an attempt to end his rivalry once and for all. What? A ninja anime that's not Naruto? Yo, is that my boy Truckun? Yo, we fell off, man. What's happened to my boy? He can't hit a single protagonist anymore, man. Did my man's really go nothing personal, kid? Teleports behind you. 
This looks story. insane. Shin what is going Kogo. on? It's a fucking anime original by Troika. It's the first anime original since Recreators. I think Recreators is one of the most underappreciated, underrated anime to come out in recent times. It tried to be something different. This one, I have no idea what this is going to be like. It looks like the creators are just having fun and just doing lots of crazy shit. I'm definitely going to give this three episodes. This looks like it has potential to be really good, actually. Moving on to Spy Family. Not really much to say about this. Let's just have a look at the trailer, shall we? Daughter of 2022 right there, my guys. Bit more waku waku, innit? There's not really much to say about this. If you haven't been watching Spy Family or Spy X Family, then what are you doing? It's one of the best anime that's aired this year so far. So of course I'm going to be watching Spy X Family. This is just a continuation of season one in my eyes. Moving on. More isekai, baby. More isekai. Reincarnated as a sword. I am so interested for this one. What are they going to do? How is this going to work? Our protagonist was reborn in another life as a sentient sword. He's taken up by Fran, a desperate girl fleeing evildoers intent on selling her into slavery. Of course, that's how you know it's an isekai, baby. Slavery strikes again. Together, this unconventional master-student duo embark on an epic journey to liberate those in need and exact justice on the cruel of hearts. I don't know what to think about this until I watch the trailer. Did my eyes deceive me? Did they actually do 2D dragons? Can't believe they did that. Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, what? What is this? He's just a flying sword? That's it? What the hell is going on? Why does that look genuinely good and fun and entertaining? The absolute f***ing state of isekai that I'm actually hyped about a guy who got reincarnated as a sword. You know what? There's not that many isekai this season, but every isekai that's airing this season actually looks f***ing good. Is this what happens when we focus on quality and not quantity? When I heard the premise of this show, I thought that I would just clown on this show for memes. But that genuinely looks looked like a really fun isekai. I'm going to give this one three episodes. It's not a must watch just yet. Moving on to Urusei Yatsura. When this was announced, I couldn't believe that they were making a remake to Urusei Yatsura. This is such an old anime. Lam, the gorgeous daughter of an enraging race of Oni aliens is smitten with high school student Ataru Monoboshi. Ataru is unfazed by Lam's fierce electric shock attacks and continues his daily hunt for pretty girls. My man, what a chat man a classic slapstick love comedy where anything goes let's watch the trailer this is so weird god this arsehole is taking me back man look at that get that zero two out of here man this is the original darling everyone copied from her pay respect to the ogs let me hear that again it is a yatsura is the progenitor to a lot lum she is possibly like the first Tsundere. And possibly like the first time we've really seen fan service in an anime. This was cutting edge for the time that it aired. This was from 1978 as a manga. So this is an 80s anime. Who the f*** just said Poggers, my grandfather Jack to this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. Ah, oh, good times. This is the OG kind of comedy romance fan service anime. Lum is like the first waifu. Don't quote me on that, but if we're going to go back to the history of like waifu and like waifu culture, I think it kind of starts with Lum. I'm definitely going to give this at least three episodes just to see, because I've never watched Urusei Yatsura. It's going to be interesting watching this to see how the landscape has changed from when this originally aired. Moving on to Yamano Susume. Next Summit, the fourth season. When was the first season? What have I missed, guys? Let's just watch the trailer for this. Hey, yo, this actually has really pretty visuals. What? These backgrounds look really good. What the f***? That looks so pretty. How have I never heard of this before? The soundtrack's going really hard as well. Uh, that came out of nowhere. How have I never heard of that one before? Does every season look that good? I might give this one an episode. I don't need the story, right? I can jump in at season four, right? That looked really pretty. All right, Yawamushi Pedal. Limit to break. Good. Let's have a look at this one. This is such bad quality. Who uploaded this trailer? Yo, why are you gonna do Yarimushi pedal like that, man? What the f*** was that cycling? Holy shit. My guy's trying to do a Dempsey roll while cycling, man. What the hell? I did enjoy Yarimushi pedal. I'll probably watch this one day when I catch up to the anime. In terms of this season, it's gonna be a skip from me or it's gonna be a put on hold, however you wanna count that. And we reach the final show, guys. Let me read this out. Yusha party wo suiho sareta beast tema. Saikyoshu no Nekomimi Shoujo Today. Or the English name, Beast Tamer. Some translator looked at this and just went, no. You want to translate that? Yeah. 
Beast Tamer, all right? Because Rain was a weak and simple Beast Tamer, he was expelled from the heroes group, but that didn't stop his desire to become an adventurer. He has a destined encounter with a strong cat girl. Okay, bringing back the Nekomimis, okay. Let's have a look, see, oh, shall we? I don't remember Spice and Wolf looking like this, guys. Oh, oh. Oh, is that best girl I see? Oh, hello there. My girl Eris has grown up, man. Look at her. I'll be honest, that did not impress me at all. It didn't look like a slice of life. It didn't really look like a romance. It didn't even look like fan servicey enough. It just looked like the middle of the road in every single category. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that one. Damn, I'm skipping like all like the fantasy anime. <laughs> but that was it. That was the fall season 2022 anime chart. Anything you're gonna be watching this fall season? Leave it in the comments. You know, if you want to see more anime content, you can hit like and subscribe. And also, this is being streamed live on Twitch. I'm going to take a quick break from streaming while I'm on tour in America. But once I come back, it's back to streaming, baby. So come follow me on twitch.tv slash gigak. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good day. Hope you guys had a good time watching this video. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.